Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with the first episode of a brand new Hearts Around 4 series. Today we're going to be playing the Millennium Dawn Modern Day mod. Uh, and we are going to be playing as Syria in 2000. Um, why I'm doing this is because the Middle East is going to be an interesting spot to be in. Um, because we can basically take over all of the Middle East. Uh, and then we can either focus on Asia or Europe, or well, Africa as well. Probably Africa before anything else. But it's just the best spot kind of in the mod to be. Because you don't have to worry about great alliances kind of fucking you over unless you go after like the obvious ones like NATO and Russia and everybody. Um, so we're just going to go to Syria, pretty much take all of the center, and then expand out into other places and see what we can do. But uh, yeah, without further ado, oh jeez, how did I get over here? Without further ado, let's get into it. Stability, got it. Alright, so right off the bat, we're going to go for industrial focus, because our industry isn't great. Um, we're also going to go ahead and get all of this started. That's too far ahead, so that's all fine. Alright, so then as you can see, we only have two military factories, but yet we have all these tanks and all these different motorized divisions. So that's our big problem in the beginning. Um, of course, first off, we're definitely going to want AKs. And we want to get started with our tanks, so we'll start that. You can see we're only making five tanks a year, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and then we have dockyards, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make some light cruisers with both of those. And then, of course, we have our on side divisions, and honestly, the first person I'm probably going to go after is Jordan. Um, just to widen the border with Iraq because they're going to be a bit of a harder target. Uh, of course, we'll have uh, good old Al-Assad as our field uh, marshal. And yeah, good to go. So we got to get some resources though. So we need steel, but that's the thing, we can't really trade anything. Hmm. I actually have no civilian factories. Interesting, so what we're going to have to do is... We're going to have to switch them. Oh, we can't even do that because you need factories. Oh, well, shit, okay. So that'll be interesting. So that's why we definitely need to go down the uh, industrial focus. All right, so never mind. But that's fine. Al-Qaeda, Summit, and Kuala Lumpur. I don't know how you actually pronounce that. Missing equipment on a lot of things. That's not surprising. But yeah, what we need to do is we need to also close our economy uh, when we get the chance. Egypt took that land from uh, Sudan. All right. I think it's like... It's a, it's a tiny area that they take. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're lined up against Jordan. Um, they only have 9 to 12 divisions, so in a straight-up brawl, we should be able to beat them. People we really need to wor uh, look out for is Turkey, um, because, of course, they'll bring NATO down on us, which would be bad. Uh, we don't want that. Um, of course, also CSTO would not be fun, but they don't have as much influence. But yeah, they're definitely the two groups that we don't want to fight. That would be bad. But we have all of this free room. Like none of the uh, none of Asia is in any group. Well, Japan probably is. Oh no, Japan isn't even in NATO or anything. Oh wait, no, that makes sense. UN, not NATO, that they're in. Because NATO is the north. Yeah, it's all. It's just this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dumb. Please ignore me. I mean, in the mod they'll probably join and be stupid, but. Alright, so we could even justify our war now. Uh, well, not quite yet. We need more political power, but we should be fine to go. And as you can see, we have a dangerous birth rate, which gives us a lot of population, which is nice. Um, we do have some Islamic problems, so our national unity is down, and our recruitable population is down as well. Uh, we're in the Arab League, so our justify war goal time is up, but we get more political power. 
and we have low stability so we'll have to try to fix that because those are some nasty buffs but yeah so basically we'll just play on double sp or uh, five times speed get some of these focuses done so that we can get some actual factories in because right now we have nothing so we'll definitely want to go for this which only gives you one so even that's kind of ridiculous each of them okay that one you know that one gives you two and that one gives you three so that's a bit better but oh no never mind you can just keep going down this Russia goes to war with Chechnya R.I.P. Chechnya? Yep. <laughs> well, they no longer exist. If only if it was that easy in real life. We wouldn't have um, the certain problem that we have today. countries in South Africa. I never noticed these before. Lesotho and Swaziland. Oh, okay, never mind. Swaziland. Mozambique. Zimbabwe. Zambia. Angola. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that was a communist thing for a second. Uh, let's see. Whoa, we got lots of planes. Interesting. Whoa, this is weird. All right, get out of there. Um, let's go for that. All right, let's justify a war. Two hundred ninety-five days. Damn, that's brutal. And of course, this mod doesn't really isn't really heavy on focuses because I mean there's so many countries, so it's just all generic stuff. So un unfortunately, you can't really attack them. Communist rally, excuse me. I don't appreciate that. We gotta get nationalism up. When is this going to finish? February 2001. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You can tell there's so many countries by how much the game's already lagging right in the beginning. <clears throat> Reactionaries. Okay. All right, we finished that. So now we have to get this, and then this. Alright, so we have a free factory. So start working on another military, or another civilian factory. And that won't be done for nine years! Oh my god. Israeli forces retreat from Lebanon. Okay. Lebanese state. Ah, now see, this is going to be an interesting thing. Israel is going to be a real pain. We're going to have to leave them alone until we're sure we can take on the United States as well. Uh, let's make all of our infantry better. That sounds like a good plan. No! President Assad. But now we got Bashar, and he's also my st he's still my field marshal with that really cool pointing picture of him. 
but yeah this is the problem like we have to make sure we're gonna win our wars or we're boned because like we can't actually resupply like any of this stuff and they have more divisions than me yeah it'd be like impossible to raise infantry well not impossible Israel offers to negotiate over Golan Where is this? So Lebanon is here. So like right here? Oh, Golan, yes. Okay. What do you want? Voices in Israel demanding an unobtainable offer were quickly silenced, followed by a quick, reasonable offer. How about no? Uh, so we lose national unity, but we get they get army experience. Okay. Then everybody else kind of hates me, but that's fine. Yeah, fuck it. So now it's mine. All right. Cool. Now we have another state in which to attack uh, Jordan with. I'm fine with that. Free military experience. Fuck it. All right, let's train some shitty militias. Guns. We're only making we're making two a day. That's awful. Good God. I can't believe this is gonna take like nine years to build. That's hilarious. All right. Is there a construction speed anywhere? Ah, oh, that would be this. Oh, but we can get that. That'll only take a little bit. Let's see, where are we going now? We could actually research a new modern battle tank, but me. Nee. 2,000. Ceramic body armor, yes please. All right, so we could actually deploy two extra units <clears throat> hospital funding uh, and he's a new hospital to secure the continued care for our citizens oh yeah I can afford that All right, let's get another civilian factory we need to build up our industry or we're doomed to be destroyed pretty much Tangled in my headphones, Jesus. Ooh, look at that planning bonus. Beautiful. Alright, so we could change our uh, economy to early mobilization. That should help, or not. Oh, never mind. The Kursk submarine disaster, oh no. I hope we can actually win this. It'd be a real shame if I like declared war and they just went whoop.
trying to get a, like a good picture for the thumbnail, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Because if I zoom out, it's a little small. Now oh, that should be good enough. Anyway. We also have planes. I didn't really think about that. Whoa, we have a lot of planes. Oh my god. Oh boy. That's all that's a lot of planes. Jeez, I didn't even think about starting with this many. But alright. Alright, civilian industry two. We're gonna have supreme control of the airs, that's for sure. Airs, what am I saying? Skies. <coughs> Alright, we have an extra militia unit. Not that it's gonna be very useful, but. Better than nothing. Oh, damn. Prison break. We must get him. Gotta keep our political power up so that we don't get screwed over. Uh, yeah, we can get any of this other stuff. Oh, Bush. Hey. Bush for president. I don't want non aggression with me. Why not? Oh, I could be in their faction. That would be interesting. A George W. Bush. What a guy. Alright, we still got like three months before we can fight. And, oh. Oh, never mind, I have that turned off. That's why. I was like, oh, they have like no one left. Oh, has their, their divisions have gone down? Okay. They're on extensive conscription. Oh, so am I. Darn. I got excited for a second. Ah, uh, once again, we can't research any of that. Is there anything like any cool things? No. 2030? Whoa, they got all this planned out. We have, like, literally almost everything you can get in 2000. days body armor is done and we finished our thingy oh there's ships we can, we can check out oh we finished another militia unit uh, let's go ahead and get two more factories that'll be very useful We've doubled our production power. Oh, now it's only 2002 when it'll be done. Sweet. Military Myanmar. That's an interesting name. Kind of looking around at everybody. Because I've played with this model a little bit, but nothing too crazy. France! You can't own that. That's not France. You crazy guy. Jacques Chirac. You can't own that. Oh, here we go. Just a few more days. 
Then we'll see how that goes. All these veteran troops, holy shit. Well, regular, whatever. Finished mobile warfare. Sweet. Alright, I'm just waiting. Four days, three days, two days. Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah, we're crushing them. Oh, sorry about them. that dumb music mod again. It sounds like shit. I still haven't figured out what mod that's from. Oh, there we go. Oh god, there's so many things playing at once. Uh, no, we're going to take all the states. Thank you. Syria strong. Alright, sweet. Well, that gives us a bunch of new factory. Well, one new factory. Okay, never mind. But now it's only November when that'll be... Oh. Military excesses. Get 5,000 manpower, but nah. Alright. So it's 2001. Is there anything new that we could get? We'll have to see after. Alright, let's focus on this. We'll have to get resources as well soon. Oh, I could go to partial mobilization. I may as well. That'll save me a bit of trouble. So now we have five factories working on this. Stability change. Sweet. So that'll help even more. So now it's July when that'll be finished. Excellent. Uh, Lebanon, you're not being guaranteed by anybody, so I'm sorry, but you can't exist anymore. How much would this be? Can we do it? No, we need a lot more political power and it's going to take forever. God damn it. Oh, no, he didn't get that medal. Never mind. He had that from the beginning. I'm actually going to go ahead and deploy all those now. I mean, they're already shit, so them just being green isn't that big of a deal. Alright, um, let's get three more civilian factories and then we'll start focusing on everything else. 236 days ahead, that's not really that big of a deal. That's a big deal. Oh, actually, let's let's get multicam. So yeah, once we're done the final civilian industry, we'll go ahead and uh, probably get political focus for the power. And then probably work on military factories and stuff. Well, actually, what we really need is more civilian factories and then... Uh, trade for resources. Well, we can also get our own resources. Um, there's lots of oil in the area, of course. Might need to go after Egypt to get some steel. Well, Saudi Arabia would also be a good one, but I don't know what kind of trouble we'd get into fighting them. Probably not. Probably nothing, honestly. I don't know if this mod is in-depth enough to really represent all this secret alliances and everybody and everything that people have. I'm sure if a country attacks Saudi Arabia in real life, shit would hit the fan. Alright. So how much would it be to 55? Okay, so we're kind of pretty close, but should be fine. They have a lot of divisions for such a small country as well, which is interesting.
Right. What to research now? It's not 2002 yet, but might as well get that. We really need some steel. Oops. Alright, we'll just set up a plan like that. So that's going to be finished in two days. Sweet. That'll be done in a few days as well. Ooh, November before that's finished. Well, it won't be because we have to, we're gonna get this, but. few new divisions, nice. And there we go. There we got a few more factories. So let's get let's get that for the extra political power. The twelfth of February, all right. Kind of sucks that we can't see what troops they have. All right. Oh, I guess we should get our planes over here to help us out. Just complete air superiority. Oh, is this all just counted as Syria? Oh, it is. Oh, well, sweet. So we have, like, a crazy amount of planes here. Sweet. algorithm sweet that'll take a few extra days but it's still only 120 that's not a big deal oh September 11th awful Awful, awful, awful. Path of the Founding Fathers, huh? I right, finished Global War on Terror. Oh no. Um, 
we finished that. So we could get steel factories. But like two, like two steel, like that's dumb. You would think it'd be more than that. But nope. Let's get it, because two steel is better than no steel. We could also even put up our taxes. Which would put down a national unity. Which is actually already going down anyway. Hmm. So that would actually be bad. I mean, we already have a growing population, I think. So closing the borders and putting the consumer good factories down would be good. Might be the difference between another factory, so. Sweet. 26th of January, all right. Oh, we got some new divisions, sweet. So now we have 28 divisions in the Grand Army. That state was cored, good. All right, we got almost three months before the war with Lebanon. as well. Oh hey, the, uh, the Transnistrian Republic. I forgot, I forgot they existed. Oops. Like in the game you can hardly even see them. It just looks like a weird... It's like, what is that? It's like, oh there's a little tiny area. Poor Transnistria. Always forgotten. Alright, Steel Factories was finished. Uh, let's get this. We get some oil. Uh, what do we really need? We do need oil. We also need chromium, which I think is after this one. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's finish the oil problem. So pretty much in two months, we'll be ready to go. Ooh, another militia division. Uh, let's research that as well. Our uh, production is going up very nicely, which I like. And we might even get the chance to uh, go up to war economy and stuff, which would be great. Maybe that's what I should do. Oh, let's uh, spend the 50 political power to put up that. Yeah, war economy is 150, so when we're at war, we should definitely jump up to that. Because that would be very good. That is when we fight Lebanon. Oh, the Euro, yay. We're now part of the Security Council, excuse me. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Non-permanent UNSC. Sweet. For a two-year term. Alright. 
Well, I'm definitely uh, doing the opposite of what the United Nations wants, but oh well. Factory output, that'll be good. Uh, and we should be able to fight them in, in about a month. All right. So yeah, we've actually been putting out quite a few of these militia regiments, so that's good. Like our army's getting pretty big. After these ones are recruited, I'm probably going to cut it off though, just so we can catch up on our uh, on our production. All right, there we go. All right, cancel the production or cancel the training. Let's get them over there. But yeah, once we go to war, um, in what like two weeks, not even. We'll boost ourselves up to uh, war economy. And we'll have a good time. Salt Lake City Olympics, whoa! Alright, synthetic oil done. You know what, actually, let's get the political focus. Yeah, we can declare war in one day. There we go, do that. Syria goes to war again. And we'll switch up to a war economy. Again, sorry about the music overlapping. Now we have 13 factories, that's great. But yeah, sorry about the music lapping. It's kind of annoying. Alright. Oh, well, it's kind of weird there for a second. They were actually winning a fight, but there we go. They're dead. We've crushed them. Beautiful. All right. Now to the next day, and let's take all the states. Thank you. Lebanon is now part of Syria. All right. So now we have even more factories. Excellent. Our production grows even further. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We can also get resource gain efficiency, which is great. Um, we still need more oil. We still need lots of steel. All right, but that's good. So we're still missing lots of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct a fuck ton of civilian factories to try to counteract the resources that we need but there we go perfect um, so now I think I'm gonna be an asshole and I'm gonna plan an invasion of Saudi Arabia for all their resources and land because I don't think anybody will stand up for them and we should be able to crush them pretty easily but guys that's all the time we have for today's episode if you enjoyed please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below as always, and if you enjoy if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be plenty more coming out with the rest of the Hearts of Iron 4 series. But anyway, this is Normal Kill as always, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.